Hello. I'd like to talk to you for just a couple of minutes about how we use the nativity set in church to tell the Christmas story. For the first three Sundays in Advent, we don't put the set out at all. We simply have this blue pyramid that has the skyline of the town of Bethlehem. Then on the fourth Sunday of Advent, we bring out the manger and the donkey and the sheep and the cow. Everything is ready for something to happen, but nothing's happening just yet. Mary and Joseph are on a table in the back. They're journeying toward Bethlehem from their town of Nazareth, where they were originally from. And the shepherds are on another table behind the altar. They're out in the field watching over their flocks, waiting for something to happen. Then we get to Christmas Eve, and more, many more of the figures are present in the scene. Mary and Joseph are here, and of course the baby Jesus is in the manger. And watching over the whole scene is an angel. And the angel has some of the shepherds who are here as well, all worshiping the newborn king. Then on the first weekend in January, we bring in the wise men and their camels. We don't bring them in on Christmas Eve because we're told in the Bible that the wise men came from a distant land. And they didn't have jet airplanes in those days, so they couldn't make it on Christmas Eve or Christmas morning. Traditionally, the church has celebrated the coming of the wise men on the Feast of the Epiphany, which is January 6th. So we wait a while before putting the wise men and the camels in the scene. So as you watch the scene develop over the course of the Advent and Christmas and into the Epiphany seasons, uh, remember the whole story. It didn't all happen in one instance. It took place over some time. And also uh, give thanks to Vera Aldrin, who made these uh, figures for the nativity scene uh, back in the 1970s and has allowed us to use them for many years. Thank you.